Decimals to Fractions, Part 1. Now that you've gone through your fractions unit, I want to introduce the next step. Fractions are parts of a whole, and decimals are also parts of a whole. A number can be shown as both a decimal and a fraction. Changing between decimals and fractions is a must-have math skill, and it's easy to do. We use our place value knowledge. Here's a place value chart. The decimal point goes here. On the left of the decimal is where we put our whole numbers. And on the right of the decimal is where we've got our fractional parts. The first column is tenths, then we've got hundredths and thousandths and so on. If I have a value, we can put it into the place value chart. Line up the decimal point and then it's one digit per column. There is only one digit after the decimal point and it's sitting in the tenths column. So 0 0.3 is the same as 3 tenths because the 3 is in the tenths column. Easy. The digits after the decimal point become your numerator. And to find the denominator, just think through your tenths, hundredths and thousandths columns. Let's do some examples. OK, the numerator is 7. There's only one figure after the decimal point. It's in the tenths column. 0 0.7 is 7 tenths. 0 0.23. This is 23 over something. Now we get the denominator. First column is tenths, second column is hundredths. We have 23 hundredths. Here we've got three figures after the decimal point. We don't even really need to use a chart at all, do we? 391 is our numerator. Just name the columns to find the denominator. Tenths, hundredths, thousandths. 391 over 1,000. OK, what about this number? 5.3. Well, we know what to do with the decimal part, but how about that 5? Remember, to the right of the decimal point are fractions of a whole one, and to the left of the decimal point you've got whole numbers. It's a whole number and a fractional part. This value is going to be a mixed number. Five whole ones here. Point 0.3 tells us our numerator is 3, and as we only have a single digit after the decimal point, that means tenths. 5 and 3 tenths. OK with that? Great stuff. Last one. 12.79. 12, 12 whole ones. And here, 79 is our numerator. Name the decimal columns to find the denominator. Tenths, hundredths. See, you can easily change from decimals to fractions. Next, you're going to do some for yourself. And then there's just a little bit more to put into place. But first, get confident with this. See you next time for that last little bit.